You're still watching Ways. Now, the Lagos State Tree Planting Day has been institutionalized as an annual celebration on the 14th of July every year with planting of trees simultaneously at different locations across the state. Health, environment, and safety are paramount now more than ever before due to the COVID-19 pandemic um, the world is battling with. Hence, the theme for this year, um, this year's tree planting day is trees for life the lagos state team planted trees in honor of the frontline heroes who through sheer dedication strength and compassion are risking their lives daily to keep us safe so it's not too late if you haven't planted your tree yet it's not too late for you to plant your tree for life i mean this is very very important um i just realized that you know um, lately, when you go into some of these housing estates in Lagos, you just see so many houses. They they don't even pay attention to the to um, the environment to, yeah. to make it eco friendly, plant mm -hmm. more trees and all of that. So I you just see houses, some, houses, houses everywhere. Some are beginning to do that. Yeah, Very the recent few, no, the recent ones that have. If you see them, you know that they have a bit of uh, what's it called. Um, um, the, the master plan, the template they are working with, are more, ad they, they adopted them from other housing estates across the world. So you see those ones, they are very conscious of recreational Sometimes, centers, eh? they are conscious of trees, they are conscious of all of those it's things. It's not a, from outside the world. The thing is, we have these laws in Nigeria. Mm. You know what I was saying, you were saying yesterday or the day yesterday that even Lagos State has a blueprint. I remember when um, it was Ambody time and then he worked on that um, bridge at um, Bega and Bega became, Ojo Bega became really nice. Beautiful. And people were saying, oh, this is what's supposed to look like when you're coming into Lagos State, right? I mean, with what Lagos State is supposed to look good. And that was when I realized that there was actually, it's not like he came up and started doing it. He went to the blueprints to do that. So there's a lot that we're supposed to be doing that we are not doing. I, I like what you said in terms of recreational um, spaces too. <laughs> Some estates are now doing it whereby you just a playing ground for children you yeah. can't build it without having so are we enforcing the laws that we have yeah, we so have even, everything even currently there's an estate that um, we own a property there and there was a land that was marked for a recreational center they are building on that thing which is they wrong. dragged the residents have dragged the, the guys and they are not stopping them so it, it's they're that enforce yes they're not the, the, the project is still ongoing so we also need to and that place that. was meant for children we, like a playground. playground i mean like how can you have a whole estate and, and there's there's no place where children can go anywhere. and play basketball or tennis or whatever. It is so wrong. It's wrong. So if we want to, if we want to be deliberate about health and consciousness of uh, the consciousness that people must actually do all these physical activities, then make it even friendly for the environment. No, it's sad because you know, so people think that you're just doing it. It's not. It's not. It's not a luxury. It's, it's a, a luxury. necessity. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, we have well, a I lot would. of stories in the news yeah. today. Um, <clears throat> Let me start with you. Okay. Um, this one, I'm just going to mention it. I do have an opinion, so mm. we can move on quickly. Traditionally, Storm Ogun Assembly overbuilt regulate traditional rulers. The bill titled Obas Chiefs Councils of Obas and Traditional Council of Ogun State Bill 2021 seeks to regulate the activities relating to kingship and traditional institutions in the state. A group told journalists that if the bill is signed into law, it would constitute an infringement on the rights of the traditional worshipper and might promote chaos and pan a pandemonium in the communities. <laughs> As at the time of filing the reports um, on premium times, um, stakeholder session was still ongoing at the Ogun State House of Assembly, so we're expecting more details on that uh, drama. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Another news to keep an eye on is the development following the um, situation of the third wave of COVID-19 in Lagos State, as the Senate of the University of Lagos has mandated the institution management to ask all students to vacate hostels with immediate effect. Um, they said the decision became un unavoidable following the rise of cases of coronavirus infection in the campus. Now, Premium Times um, source also added that the school senate has approved commencement of virtual lectures from July 26. I may be worried. Yes, I Are am. you done? Yes. Because if there's already ca um, active cases of COVID-19 within the school, shouldn't have it have been better for them to have stayed within the school and probably start to do so like bubble, them. isolate them like in bubbles, mm -hmm. right? So that they, they're able to say, okay, you know what? This because now sending so them, them home, parents. you are spreading it more. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have two stories quickly. Um, yeah. One would just also be a mention, just a follow up on um, the case that we've been monitoring, the Chidimas um, case. TV bus. Yes, the the CEO the, that was murdered, uh, Usifo Ataga, that was murdered. He says. Um, um, 
there, there has been they've established a conspiracy according to the commission of uh, of police hakim odumo so that they've as, um, established a conspiracy that now they have arrested more suspects concerning the murder of um, the ceo of super tv but he didn't mention how many suspects, suspects were arrested yeah. or who they were mm -hmm. but they have arrested more suspects so i've always said that this thing and the girl has also recanted her confession. yes yeah. in fact i saw this the super story that they <laughs> they recorded <laughs> you know then also my second story would be lawmakers suspend their Deliberations on new laws to regulate social media. Mm. I want social media people. Mm. <laughs> they said, social media, all media. Maybe. Yeah, well, the yeah. sponsor of the controversial Nigerian press, um, uh, what's it called? Um, council, uh, council, that's the MPC and the the MBC Nigerian Broadcast Commission mm -hmm. um, Amendment Bill Shegun Odu Bumi said that the House had agreed to suspend the bills, and he said this was done because they want to go back to have proper consultations with the stakeholders, you know, for this bill. Uh, of course, they was a lot of um, resistance mm -hmm. a lot of um, uh, like the the print media they they, they all did uh, um, uh, what's it called a publication in solidarity mm -hmm. that this bill must not go through and all of that mm -hmm. so that I mean everybody is saying that this is an attempt to gag uh, media and all of that so I'm happy that they have suspended the yeah. the, the bill hopefully they would reach you know some yes yeah, some sense yeah. of you know neutrality in the matter because mm -hmm. I, I, I mean I don't know anywhere in the world where the media should not be given freedom you should be able to you know accept criticism from the media that's that's the job of government you should allow people to <laughs> to express themselves they freely. Say that they're trying to <coughs> uphold unity and oneness in the mm. country but the actions mm. that they they tells otherwise I don't know. tells I don't otherwise know. so i'm happy that they've suspended it so hopefully we'll, con we'll also keep an eye on that story to see how you know they'll resolve it so we're talking health today you know health and fitness and we have our guest with us. We'll do that right after the break. See you soon.